so Cosmic Toys is a it's a mix of things. It does comics, it does toys, it does new toys, it does older toys. It does Warhammer and it's based in Dewsbury, not Leeds, Dewsbury. It's pretty easy to get to. Um, I parked without any difficulties and everywhere is to, you know, within walking distance. You can see here, as soon as you get in the shop, um, you've got this sort of quite a big graphics novel section. It's a sort of, you know, it's it's big but small and it's therefore perfectly formed. And um, Marvel, DC, independent titles, lots of stuff to look at there. I never ever have enough time in this shop to look at everything on a single visit. It's just not possible. You've got Lego minifigs there as well, uh, various sort of jewellery, bigger Lego sets. I can't really tell you everything that's there over the course of this video because it just wouldn't be possible. What I want to try and do is give you a bit of a flavour for it because it's well worth going into the store because it doesn't have everything online that it has in store. So it's well worth your while going to have a look. And as you can see, old games consoles as well there. There's a few more of those upstairs. Ironically, I filmed upstairs before I filmed downstairs. There's Gareth there looking in the corner. Um, so this is slightly back to front, but that's just the way I did it because there were more people upstairs at one point than downstairs and so on. So um, got some old Playmates in there. So some of these are, are pre-loved. Um, you know, they are pre-owned, but a lot of them, as you can see, are still mint in their boxes. So there's some Aliens figures there, various Marvel figures of various different eras around the place. Um, Star Wars, Doctor Who, you name it, it's in this shop, basically. Um, this is about my third visit. Um, I hadn't been for a while, so I was starting to feel a bit guilty anyway, and then... Uh, Gareth mentioned it had been a while since he'd seen me. Um, so I thought, right, right, pull my finger out. Go and, go, and, go and see what it's looking like these days. And as you can see, lots of loose figures, which is nice. Because if, like me, you just want to sort of display stuff or just, you know, reminisce about it, do a video on it, it means you don't have to fork out for the fully boxed version. And in fact, when I was in, um, Gareth suggested that I get some loose figures that he had rather than getting a set in the box if that wasn't you know critical for me which i appreciated because that saved me half my money so we've got some black series figures here um again you know uh, the old joy sort of that re the redo of the joys figures always makes me smile there um but we've also got got power rangers i've got excelsior stuff in the back there don't see i didn't see i did see that gareth but i forgot to ask you about it um We've got some G.I. Joe stuff at the bottom there. We've got those, these new sort of reproduction old boxes, the things like characters like Hercules. We were chatting about Hercules when I was there because he's been in the comics since like the 80s in that form. And he now seems to have had a bit of a sort of renaissance and he's coming back in again, which is which is curious. Uh, Marvel Legends there. Power Rangers, Transformers here. Uh, DC action figures, Tron action figures. Um, some really, really nice stuff and for, for me it's just that sort of looking around um, which I enjoy um, you know I don't always go in with my camera rolling but you know I think people enjoy being able to sort of see you know what, what's there before they actually arrive um, Gav still has shed loads of these Godzilla um, and other associated kaiju kind of figures around the place um, so, you know, if that is your thing, you could do far worse than, than rock up and, and come and have a look around. And then we've got Zuki there. Like when Godzuki, I mean, not be his son of Godzilla, probably technically in the um, the Japanese films, I guess. You can see I'm trying really hard to avoid people's faces here. <laughs> but again, more action figures there. Um, that's a bit of an in-joke for the, um, the Cosmic Council, because we were accusing Gareth of being like uh, only fools and horses. With a, with a with a reliant, so it's, I, I smiled when I saw those figures in the store. Um, got various Godzilla box sets there, Dragon Ball Z, Red Hulk. Um, there was some. What did I see over here? Yeah, so there was Avatar figures, Halo figures, more Lego here in this corner. Playmobil, Back to the Future, A Team, Ghostbusters, Mario, um, lots of Fortnite. Um, 
all sorts of stuff. And what really made me smile actually when I was in the store this time was that um, this the young lad sort of came in and he was espousing various stuff and he clearly was a very, very young collector, um, but a proper, proper collector already, which made me chuckle. Um, so he, there's clearly a sort of generational thing coming through for, you know, for people who are going to really enjoy collecting this stuff. As you can see, Warhammer paints there. Um, now this is the Masterverse figures. I can't quite remember if they're all new based on the new cartoon that came out, or if they're also kind of redos of the original Masters of the Universe figures. But anyway, they're they're around, as are various Batmen, ET, Gremlins. I think these are. I'm going to get this wrong now. I can't remember what the right word for them is. Um, it's not Toy Biz. It's somebody else that does these really intricately detailed action figures they're well worth a look if you've got the, the cash for them and you know this is nothing we were chatting about i love that there's big track and transport i haven't seen that transport for donkey's years i can't even remember if i actually had one but i love big track I used to program big track big track when i was little but there's just lots and lots of of different stuff in here for you know to suit pretty much every taste of going and you know gareth and i was saying you know at the end of the day you can spend what you want to spend on on collectibles you know um if you want to spend over 100 quid on a, a particularly hard to find figure then you know that's entirely up to you uh we've got dungeons and dragons figures here they're new they're the new release um godzilla overflow turtles there as well it's always quite fascinating watching these backs i often spot things that i may have actually missed myself in the store we were discussing that there's a yellow devastator up top right there and we were sort of discussing that one as well as a sort of a new tonka tie-in i saw it the other day in a shop and i was really puzzled as to what on earth it was um i'm going to do a, a what did i buy video off the back of this as well um for, for this particular visit as well because i did pick up a few few odds and ends um so this is sort of rounding off the ground floor so this is only the ground floor bear in mind there is a whole other floor upstairs so you ain't seen half of it yet well you've seen nearly half of it but not quite um so you know it's that you should allow a chunk of time for it ah oh, supermobile i've got um i've got a little corgi jr original one of those now that's the azrael batman i nearly got but didn't i got the one that's the um in this dc multiverse packaging i think it was more reasonable um, and it's one I've had my eye on for a while when I finally got hold of it. I've now seen Invincible, so I know who that guy is. <laughs> I can't remember what his name is, but I have seen him, and I've looked at some of the comics now. And they're pretty, they're pretty bloody hardcore, but um, definitely for a mature audience. There he is. Look, he thought that was the last thing I was videoing. It wasn't. <laughs> so this is upstairs now. Um, so I've come up the stairs, and I, I think in a sort of TARDIS style upstairs may actually be bigger than downstairs in some respects um, it, I think it's a sort of wider area but we've got you know you can see Gremlins Lord of the Rings Walking Dead we've got Minions um, Lord of the Rings helpfully labelled thank you a uh, little startup figure lurking in there all sorts of stuff uh, Astro Shooter old Tommy Pinball game as I recall uh, G.I. Joe stuff, that, a lot of that is generally vintage. Um, this is kind of, I, I think of this as being more of the sort of the vintage deck, I suppose. Um, you'll see why in a moment, but things like that, you see, um, the fantastic car. Um, I mean, Funko Pots perhaps not so much, although they might be older ones. But, but obviously that Buzz Lightyear is pretty old these days. But you've got Aliens figures, uh, Power Zords various. Um, I think it was a NECA Robocop figure. Uh, Pacific Rim action figures. I keep meaning to pick one of those up actually. Daleks and uh, Dalek Hybrid there. Planet of the Apes. Sonic Jumanji. Titan AE. <laughs> Anything that might potentially tickle your fancy is probably in here. Um, there are also comics upstairs as well. You'll see that you know it's it's there is a substantial number of single issue comics um, also in store. So again, it's you know it's very much one of those sort of broad church kind of shops when it comes to 
to vintage and you know collectibles in general. Um, those 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 the aliens off the the advert for something, aren't they? I, I did re I do recognise them. Got some mad balls in there. Got some visionaries in here as well. I grabbed one. There weren't many left actually. Um, those two playmate Star Trek ships I've got. They're really good. Um, they're electronic as well, which I rather enjoy. Um, but they're a decent size to play with. Yeah, that um, that white and blue Visionaries is now mine. Um, so we've got some wrestling, uh, Spud, Spud Head, Mr. Potato, Mr. Potato Head, Ulka Plunk, bless it. Um, World of Warcraft. I think, I'm not sure that's a, that was a, a Playmate Star Trek Next Generation ship or not. I think I, surpri I was surprised to see who it was by. Um, still some Star Trek Eagle Moss issues in, in stock here as well. If you've got any that you need to try and fill in gaps with. Uh, there's the Phoenix there. Uh, G.I. Joe, Marvel, Star Wars. We're getting into the vintage Star Wars section now, as I recall. There we go. That's the first sort of glimpse. And there's a Nez up there as well, I think. A lot of these now. I remember that battle damaged X-wing very fondly from my my childhood. I remember having that B-wing was one of the last things I got, I think. And um, Darth Vader's tie is in there. Loose figures, various. Um, I have a little twin pod, which I keep uh, boring Gareth with. Every time I see it, I say I had that, and you've probably heard that about six six thousand times now. Uh, Return of the Jedi annuals, various other loose figures. Is the Action Force? Now, see, I was never an Action Force collector. But plenty of action force there for you to have a look at. And then across to Masters of the Universe and into Transformers and some Centurions are left over, but not many. Um, and some uh, assault weapon systems there as well. Exterminate! Full size Dalek up there. Don't ask me why, he just is. Just accept it. Uh, <laughs> well, like the Doctor having a cup of tea. Um, and as you can see, loads of comics there, and also loads of old game systems, including one of my favourites, Nintendo 64 Goldeneye Box. Loved that game. Um, also cassette games, children, ask your parents. Um, some 2000 AD loose comics on, on, on the floor there. Futurama, Old Thunderbird 2, Battlestar Galactica figures, Spider-Man from the animated series, as I recall, TARDIS. Captain Britain comics, all sorts of stuff, all sorts of stuff. So, as I say, it's it's well worth your while coming to have a physical route round because you just never know, in my experience, what's going to catch your eye. What I'm trying to do here is capture as much as I possibly can just to give you a taste. So I apologise if it's a bit fast. I was worried about parking. I didn't get a ticket, you'll be happy to know, or I will be happy to know anyway. Um, so it was actually, uh, you know, quite, quite good in that sense that I was able to get round. I'm pretty sure that's a Hoth gun emplacement up the top there. Um, I'm not, I am an, I'm not a Whovian, but there is a lot of Doctor Who stuff in there, as you can see. There's a lot of um, DVDs and tapes and merchandise. Um Still a lot of Godzilla's up the top. More, more sort of comics series here. Um, there's a Judgment in Gotham one uh, comic there. I think I think I recognise that cover. But as you can see, I mean, you know, you you can quite happily spend hours here, and you know, Gareth is a very knowledgeable chap, and you know, he he will be able to direct you in the right direction and I think it's one of those shops where people do actually talk to each other as well so you know I, I would always volunteer stuff if I happen to hear something being chatted about in store so I don't think you need to worry on, on that front um, and it is there's just so much here to, to try and sort of keep in your head you've got sort of Ultramans and Sega Mega CDs there uh, it's an odd loose loose uh, zords in that box there. So we'll, we'll try and make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, Harley Quinn there. Don't know what flavour of bat vehicles they are, but over here you've got some some loose Star Wars uh, vehicles. That Toy Biz Batmobile, actually, I've now got thinking about it. Um, I picked up some of those um, those 
Batman animated series vehicles as well because I think I've I'm getting a bit of a mini collection of those a nice Lego set completed in, in there um, and still we're not done yet the, the, this is on the same floor but it's a bit of a jump cut because I'm trying to capture the cabinets in the middle I'm pretty sure I did still miss some actually but as you can see this is where we get really intense because we've got even more Godzilla stuff packed into these cabinets here it's not just Godzilla We've got more Doctor Who, more Daleks, control consoles, more Power Rangers. We've got aliens figures coming into it. Um, yeah, so we're getting lots of aliens figures around here. Here we are. We've got Independence Day as well. Big Independence Day puppet there. We've got the good old old school Falcon. We've got some Manta Force. Again, I never owned Manta Force. I'm aware of it, but I've never actually owned any of it. Um, we've got uh, Rock Lords, Gobot Rock Lords there. Cloaked Predator. Um, Alien Egg. More Whovian stuff. More Spider-Man stuff. Just lots and lots of stuff, basically. <laughs> Masters of the Universe. Uh, what, and there's more sort of bits and bobs. I don't know what Primal Age is. DC Primal Age. Um, I'm not familiar with that, but of course, being a man of style and grace, he's got Babylon 5 DVDs down the bottom there. Um, more comics, got a battle cap lurking there. Uh, Sir Bulba's pod car lurking on top of something else. Marvel Legends, um, Eagle Moss cover Batman cars there. Um, so that's pretty much about as much as I could on this particular uh, sweep and it was a sweep through the store because there is just so much stuff you've got to have about sort of you know three pairs of eyes to try and cover it all but you could do far far worse and don't forget you know coming to a store like this is great you're, su you're supporting your local business you're not having to pay postage and packing fees for lots of individual items off eBay and you know why why wouldn't you i mean it's just you know it's, it's a good way to make contact with gareth so that, and if it, he knows what you like so if something comes in that you particularly like he can try and let you know um, he's got a website so do go and check out his website and come join us for the the cosmic council every fortnight on a wednesday cheers for now